with the little soil and we'll click in there. We got us a, a Hall Effect sensor there. Nope, something too close. It's one of the uh, one of the old Radio Shack versions. Not sensitive enough to pick up the magnets inside the rotor, so I had to stick some magnets on top. And in addition to that, the Hall Effect sensor is uh, only sensitive to the South Pole. So we're running this right now off of just four signals. And uh, you can see the movement on the stator. As Al said, it open said, it only takes about five degrees of uh, travel on the stator in order to, to get the rotation. And due to limitations of the way I wound my coil and the way that uh, I got the slug in there, it it has a resonance. It's not very fast. You know, this wasn't built for speed. It was built for proof of concept. And uh, we're hitting it with about a. Let's just say we just focus. There we go. Hitting it with about a 40 millisecond pulse because uh, that's what it requires in order for the solenoid to pull in. So if we can get some more sensitive solenoids, we can narrow that pulse width and increase our speed. And here's our circuit. We're firing a 555 off of the uh, Hall Effect sensor, running that into a standard tip 120, and uh, kicking our Solenoid with that, we've got a couple extra caps over here to give it a little more juice. And it runs. And the cool thing about it running is it's running off of the stator motion. It's not running off of uh, electromagnetic power other than that 30 millisecond pulse that we're pulling the stator with. So, proof of concept. It's proven. And, uh, why should I hate to do this to a running machine? For all those skeptics out there, it's just a rotor with magnets in it and a Hall Effect sensor. As I should, nothing more.